Alright guys, I thought I'd give you guys a little update here of what's going on, what I've been up to here. Um, this is going to be a small snippet of what I've been working on, but I think the effect is pretty interesting. Um, but first off, i got to do a demonstration to, to show you guys what I mean by what's going on. Right now i got a capacitor. It doesn't matter what capacitor it is, just what it matters is that, is that there's voltage inside that capacitor. I can see about 9.48 volts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this capacitor and its lead, keep everything attached. I'm going to go over here where this tub of water is. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it in the water. I'm going to put the leads in the water. I'm going to see, we're going to observe, uh, look at what's going to happen to it. Alright, I'm going to submerge it. Now, as you can see, the uh, leads are shorted out, so uh, it loses all its voltage. And it goes down to nothing. That's 0 0.087 volts. And it'll go down to zero. So that's that's what I wanted to point out in that little experiment. It helps you understand what I'm trying to get at here. We're just going to just connect it. There's just a demonstration. So what we saw there is that we take the capacitor or really any battery or any really cell to begin with, and we take it and completely submerge it underwater the water actually shorts out the two leads so it drains its power so basically put in water with both the leads touching the water uh, the cell is shorted out so now we're going to move on to the next demonstration and that's what I'm trying to point out uh, I have uh, a certain uh, pressure cell here it's not this one, but this is one of my pressure cells I've been keep working on. It's this is the carpet tube cell with the Morton soft soft tube in it, with the magnesium ribbon and the blue uh, Paris tapes uh, separating the two metals so they don't touch and short out. And the tube's been obviously crushed, and that's why I call it pressure cell because you get voltage from the pressure, and it maintains that voltage. So it's not uh, piezoelectric because it's a constant voltage with constant pressure. Now I got a special pressure cell over here. It's completely submerged underwater. But you'll notice that there's no bubbles forming from it. Produce hydrogen that you would expect from uh, it. And you may think, hey, it's underwater, so it's technically it's shorted out. And this is what I want to demonstrate here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get it out of the water there. Right now it's out of the water. Let's just set it over to the side for a second. So I just we're going to hook it up to the multimeter. I'm going, to, I'm going to give you the demonstration of what I think is pretty interesting. Copper is positive. Magnesium strip at the top is negative. Set the 2 volt scale. We're getting about 1.170 volts. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, now, here's the demonstration. We're going to take this cell here that to took out of the water. We're going to completely put it in this water here and we'll demonstrate what will happen. Make sure this clip over here is secure. All right. As we saw with the capacitor, when I put it in the water, the capacitor drained of all its voltage and died off. Well, what will happen when I put this in the water? So let's, let's find out, folks in the water well, the voltage is not going down it's actually going up went down a little bit now it's coming up as you can see the cell is completely in the water there's the water you can see that very well but there's the water line so it's completely underwater but yet we're still getting a voltage and it's climbing up very slowly too and of course I know some people want to see the amperage so we're going to put it on the amp scale and you can see we're getting 1.3 milliamps that's milliamps that's on the uh, 20 milliamp scale yes we are getting amperage from something that's completely underwater as you can see so this cell particular pressure cell I have made it's not quite the same as that one um, but it is working underwater. It's very interesting. And it's going up. 
and voltage. So what's interesting is that we're getting a voltage underwater, which is not supposed to happen as we've seen in the capacitor. The capacitor drained when both electrodes were exposed to the water. So why is this happening? I don't know. But you can see it's completely underwater. And it's very interesting. I'll we'll give you guys that little update right there, a little teaser. Um, but yeah, it's working underwater. And technically it should be shorted out and not working, but it is working even though it's shorted out by the water. So yeah, there you go folks.